what is up guys icy fire here back again with another video and in today's video i'm just going to be explaining how to get nba 2k17 for free so without further ado let's get into it So the first thing that you're going to want to do is download BitTorrent. The link will be in the description down below so make sure you guys check that out to get to it faster and quicker. But um, anyways what BitTorrent is, it is just a program that lets you download files. So basically if I wanted to get NBA 2K17 for free, I would go to a pirate site and just so you guys know it is illegal so I recommend using a VPN that way they can't trace your IP and arrest you and things like that because in the US it is illegal, you can get like 5 years minimum I think. So just make sure you guys are being careful and I would not overdo anything. So basically what I'm saying. You, like you can do more than just get NBA 2K17 off the site I'm about to show you. You can get um, movies, more video games, things like that. I just say be careful. Don't use that much bandwidth because if you exceed your bandwidth, then your internet provider will know something is up and they will probably contact you about the pirating things that you have been doing. So just make sure you're using a VPN and make sure you're not overdoing it. But um, anyways, back to what I was talking about. Um, BitTorrent is just a program that lets you download torrent files, so you just need to have this installed to be able to get NBA 2K17 for free. So since you're on the site, BitTorrent.com, link will be in the description, you just want to go ahead and click download BitTorrent. I already have it installed, so I really don't need to, but you would just click free download and it would start downloading like this. But I already have it installed, so I'm not going to install it again, so I'm just going to go back to the main site. But um, anyways, that's just what you guys want to do. And also, I recommend being careful when you install it because it will also have a lot of ad offers, basically like PC Repair Pro, stuff like that will get installed if you don't read carefully. So make sure you're reading carefully. Um, Just make sure that if one of those things come up, you want to click custom installation and uncheck the ones that you don't want. And basically click, click skip on any of the ads that are offers that they might try to give you because if you're not reading you might just be going fast and things like that and basically what will happen is since you're going so fast you won't be able to read and you might get extra programs added to your computer that can potentially have a virus if you don't be careful so just make sure you're reading make sure you're going slow and make sure you know what you're doing but um, anyways after you guys have this installed you just want to go ahead and head over to the piratebay.org the link will be in the description as well as the BitTorrent download, so make sure you guys go down there and click on the links. But um, anyway, so once you're on this site, you just want to go ahead and type NBA 2K17 into the search bar, um, pirate search, oops, <laughs> pirate search, um, NBA 2K17 dash codex is the one that you want. You can also get with this one, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to be using this one. Because you won't be able to go online anyways. Um, you'll just have the base game. You can't do any online features. If you guys want online features, you guys actually have to purchase the game. So I'm sorry about that, but that's just the way it is with any time you pirate a video game. Anytime you pirate a video game, most of the time you cannot go online because you're not able to you're not, like 2K does not have you in their servers because you did not actually buy the game. So you're not gonna be able to connect online and things like that. So yeah, so if you guys want online features and things like that, like my park, you guys need to buy the game or get it, or get the CD key from a retailer for like maybe 50% less. So like I use GTA, G G G2A, oh my bad, G2A, and basically they give me like I can get any key for less for the most part. But um, anyways, that's besides the point. But we're just gonna go with this NBA 2K17 dash codex link to this link to this site like this download will be in the description down below as well so make sure you guys go down there and click on it um so you just want to click get this torrent once you have BitTorrent installed and as you guys see BitTorrent will pop up and you just want to click open or launch if you're on chrome or whatever it says so basically this shouldn't happen for you if you don't ha already have it installed this is popping up for me because i already have it installed like i already have it downloaded so i'm just going to go ahead and click the x but um, basically, what would happen is this menu, a menu would appear. Let me just do this one because I'm I'm not going to be really downloading this. I'm just going to show you guys what will happen. So basically, this will pop up. Um, this is 
basically is where you want to save it so I'm gonna save this in my BitTorrent downloads but I'm not gonna really install it so just make sure you have it where you saved and make sure you have enough space um, legend edition is 27 point 27 no 57.3 gigabytes so make sure you have that much space but NBA 2k17 codex is 53.3 so make sure you guys have enough space before you do it or else the download will fail so now you just want to go ahead and start this but I'm already finished it's already finished for me I downloaded this like last week I've been trying to make this video forever but I keep messing up messing up my words and things like that so I've had to remake it a uh, couple hundred times but it's okay because now I'm, I think this is gonna be a good video so now you just want to go ahead and double click it after it is finished open up this go to setup yes and it's gonna have music so I recommend turning it down it is very annoying by the way so um, NBA 2k17 I'm gonna install it on my D drive where I have the most space and you just want to go ahead and install and once this is done you can just minimize this and minimize this and minimize this so this is the only thing you need open right now um, I leave this open because this is what we're gonna need next so I just leave this open and I'll be back when this finishes peace what is up guys I am back and as you guys can see NBA 2k17 has been successfully installed so now you just want to go ahead and close BitTorrent and you can go ahead and close the Firefox and you can go ahead and finish click finish so now you should be left with this um nba 2k17 you want to go into the codex folder and now that once you're here you want to right click the desktop shortcut open file location and now you just want to highlight right click copy and then go to the nba 2k17 directory right click paste and replace files to replace the files in the destination so now you have officially got NBA 2k17 for free but one more thing you want to go ahead and click steam underscore e m u so now basically this is how you can change your name so for me I want my name icy fire so I'm gonna put lowercase i capital c y f fire like that and you want to right click save and now you can go ahead and close everything and now you can go ahead and open up 2k17 click yes and voila you now have nba 2k17 for free now like i said this is very illegal so make sure you're being careful with what you're doing make sure you use a vpn make sure you take precautions don't overdo it and yeah so let me get my controller real quick Now we have NBA 2K17. So as you guys can see, you cannot go online, but it's okay because you can do you can do everything else. You just cannot go online. So if you guys want online features, you guys have to buy the game. But um, it's good if you like my league, my career, things like that, and you just want to try out the game before you actually you know spend money on it. So we'll go ahead and try to connect to show you guys what happens when you do try to connect. It will not let you connect it'll say please wait contact me 2k sports server and then a error message will come up saying that you are you are unable to connect to the 2k sports server and it will take you back to the main menu so please wait contact the 2k sports server i don't know how long it will take for the error message to come up but just know it will come up but in the meanwhile i'll just tell you guys this i just want to thank you guys for almost 1200 subscribers it really means a lot to me um the reason i haven't uploaded in a month is because my computer's been broken um i just recently fixed it and i'm gonna go i'm gonna be starting my weekly upload soon it's not gonna be one video a week but i'm gonna try to do two two to three videos a week so make sure you guys stay tuned for that but um as you guys can see went back to the main menu but you can do everything else you can do play now you can do blacktop actually let me do blacktop real quick just to prove to wait what oops my buttons are kind of messed up right now so 
I think just moving by now. If that makes sense. So one v one, James Harden and LeBron James, and we got this part. And I'm just gonna be not. Okay, so 2K says there must be a player sign. Number one, and yeah, so as you guys see, it's loading up. Um, basically, we get every single feature that the normal 2K would have, except the online part of the game. So you cannot go to park, but you can play my career, you can do everything else. So this has been the tutorial on how to get NBA 2K17 for free. If you guys want to see more good tutorials and things like that, make sure to tell me what you guys want a tutorial of. That way I can be sure to record the video and you know basically upload it. But um anyways, like I said, I just want to thank you guys for 1200 subscribers. It really means a lot to me. Um you guys mean the world to me. I don't know what I would do without you guys if you want me to be honest because i mean i never expected to get this much subscribers in the first place but um yeah my controller messed up i cannot shoot i don't know what i would do but um anyways i want to thank you guys 